Supergirl Season 6, Episode 10, titled Still I Wise. And this episode is a good episode because here's the thing. On the surface, and while watching the episode, your brain mostly goes to, okay, this is going to be another filler episode. This is them switching the plots so they can fill the 20 and all this kind of stuff and, and blah, 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 blah. Like, the story didn't need 20 episodes and I could tell already myself, right? But what you realize while watching it, until the very end, that, oh, it's a setup to the ending. It's important because it's to set up the hope that Kara has set and it being in in uh, Twixty has rumbled that down to the ground. And the whole episode, like, you know, the show likes to reflect on today's issues. And one of the issues is, is about reunification. About, you know, the point of if you go to prison and you get out of prison, you are, you are a deem, that you are a society is ready to accept you, that you deserve a second chance, that you pay your debt to society. But society has accepted you, but the people haven't. And that weird context of it, because there's that mindset of like, why should we give houses to criminals? Why should we build houses for criminals? You know? They've done their chance, they've done it, and they paid it away. We should give people, give money to the actual people who haven't made any failures. And Carver's point of view, Supergirl's point of view, is like everyone is important. Everyone is a human being who deserves to be cared and trusted. It doesn't matter what they've done. I always had a saying, a saying which is, doesn't matter what you did yesterday, it's all about who you are today. Implying that, you know, we all have done things in our past that we have done and said that we all don't want to come out. Um, like, I heard this great saying, which is, if we find out everything that you have done and said, no one would ever want to hang out, hang out with you, and vice versa. And that's kind of what is kind of apply here in this. While what, what's happening is the main plot is going on, and the, the transition between the two stories, between the two, like, the West of the season versus the, the episode plot, We Three Well makes a, a, a lot of sense, makes, you know what it is, it feels like the opening of the story, like finally, it feels like season 6 has officially begun, that like we are hitting the climax, the, the gears are now turning to the climax, and knowing that we're in the final turn, you know, the gears are turning, the gears are, are winding away, and I mean, here's the thing, like, the P thing, I'm like, okay, that's kind of cute, that's a little bit funny, you know, I mean, it's a very Kryptonian thing to do, because I'm thinking, you know, oh, it's a very Superman thing, it's a very Supergirl thing to do, um, it's a, that, um, uh, and, you know, the whole PDA, uh, Kara a super using social media to talk to the people, but people are thinking she's a hypocrite because it's like the moment you give us hope, you're asking us to take that hope away, and and you know people are seeing good things, but actually it might be a, the good thing, the good things might be also the bad things, and um, yeah, I mean it's not an episode that is there isn't much to actually talk about. I mean the dreamer stuff is quite interesting. It, it, it does feel like set up for like the worst of the season and it's um it's good. It's it's a it's a fine episode. It's just it's just fine. Really.